Hey guys, Captain Asian Customs, back for another video. And today, I'm actually going to be doing my Infinity w complete Infinity War showcase. Because, um, I did it before, but those were all inaccurate. I just needed a video out for that, but... Yeah, I have, like, I don't know, I don't even know how much, but... How many figures, but, like, I have a lot, so... Yeah, I have, like... Just look, it doesn't even all fit in the screen, almost. Like, it's just, you can bear, you can't even see all of them. So, yeah, let's get into the showcase really quick so this doesn't be too long. So, yeah, let's get into the first figure. Okay, guys, so the first figure to start off this showcase is gonna be Thanos. Um, pretty simplistic. It's actually, I made this a while ago, but I just... Really haven't shown it that much, but I'm pretty sure this is one of my first figures I've actually like put like sealer on, and like yeah, it was just it took a while though, but you can tell as you can tell um it's like it's bigger than an actual Lego figure. So here I'll go compare it to this one. Um, see, it's it's a lot bigger because. I actually used this um, bootleg Lego that's actually bigger for some reason. Because I bought it thinking that it would be normal size, but it wasn't. So, yeah, I ended up with that. So, here, let's turn it here. Let's turn this around. You can see the there's not really any back that I did. Um, yeah, as you may realize in the showcase, there's not really that much back because I was in a hurry. So, here. Take this guy. Oh, there's the gaunt there's the infinity gauntlet that actually took like two hours, which <sighs> this figure didn't even turn out great. So now let's get into the next figure. The second figure for the showcase is actually going to be Thor because, well, Thanos and Thor I'm pretty sure had the most green time is what I heard, but um, yeah, this one this one like. Didn't take as long, took like a day at the most. Oh, also I did the eye patch, as you can see. It's kinda hard to see, but the back printing, oh, the back painting, I guess, cause I painted that, but I did that. And I also painted the side of the arms, which is a uh, muscle design. And I have like um, another, I have another version of this, so I'll be right so back. So this is the second version of a Thor. All I really did was add this cape and add side, um, add the arms, because this is um, this isn't really a spoiler. Like, there's actually not, not going to be any spoilers in this video, but this is the version of when he was in Wakanda for the Wakanda battle. So, yeah, I actually really like this version of him, but yeah, it just looks really nice. So. Let's get into the next figure. So the next figure is Gamora, and actually this also didn't take that long. Just needed to paint it and it dried. And it actually turned out better than um, I expected it to be because, like, just when I added the coat, it turned out, it looked a lot better because um, just without the coat, it looked terrible in my opinion. So, yeah, it's pretty how this works just yeah oh I also here um I'll show you her without her coat trench this coat. is Gamora without her trench coat um you can see that I curved the torsos they like, curved the torso but yeah it's really simplistic so let's get into the next figure um, I am Groot, I am Groot, okay, actually, though, for real, um, this is Groot, and you probably know him, it's the teenage version, uh, when he became a teenager, so, um, the color, um, of this Groot figure was actually inspired by wavy films, and, like, um, just most of this figure was inspired by wavy films, except for the fact that I used, um, uh, Mega Blocks, I think. Mega Constructs. Like Ninja Turtles figure. It was um, one of those. I forgot what they're called, but it's like the Foot Soldier, Foot Soldier. 
So, yeah, I made this out of a foot soldier. So, yeah. It's actually really simplistic if you think about it. Because there's not that much design. So, yeah. You can see, like, the barky kind of texture. And so, yeah, let's get into the next figure. Okay, so this next figure is actually, um... My version 2 of Spider-Man, because version 1, like, you could find it on my Instagram le link in description, but this is my version 2 because the first one was, was, like, a quick job, and this one, I think, turned out actually a lot better because, um, you can see the lines are more straight, and it's just not as sloppy as the other one, and, yeah, I painted the eyes blue instead of silver like I did before because that's kind of more accurate because it was going blue um there's the back I actually did back printing for that well back painting for that um yes yeah, usually I never do that so for a couple of them I did but yeah that's pretty much it for this Spider-Man figure uh here's a side yeah pretty not that interesting, but let's get into the next figure. Okay, so this next figure is Iron Man, and wow, do I like this figure, because it took so long, and I put so much effort into it, and I'm just so happy on how it turned out, because, like, you can see, like, if you look at it, you can see it looks just like Iron Man, but here's the side. I, I base, like... 80, at least 80% of this figure on Lego, well, no, actually 100%, this is 100 based on Wavy Films and Lego's design, because, well, they're, they're, they're the MVPs, you know, because, you know, but, yeah, this turned out good, the side, I did the side of the legs, which is, like, rare, um, here's the back, I just love how this figure turned out, like, I improved so much um, since actually, like, I did my first showcase, which was the Legends of Tomorrow showcase. Don't even bother watching that, because it was just terrible, and my voice was, like, so high. But, yeah, but just don't watch it, <laughs> because, um, yeah, I, I improved a lot, just, just know that. So, yeah, let's get into the next figure. Okay, so this is Bucky Barnes, um, aka White Wolf in Infinity War, but this was actually a very rushed figure because I only spent like half an hour on it. I painted the beard, um, painted the arm, painted a little bit of the legs, painted the back. It was really simple, but yeah, there's not much to review on the showcase on this figure, but so let's move on to the next figure. So this next figure is Rocket Raccoon, and this was actually, like, one of my best ideas I've had on this whole channel, or out of all my figs, because, like, as you will, actually, it's, like, with Groot, um, probably my Rocket and Groot are, have the most creativity, but here's the height difference. Yeah, you can see, oh, there's a piece, there's a piece of hair, but yeah, you can see, um, like, this one, I actually made this out of a Creo figure, which was actually, like, one of my favorite, um, like, like, um, alternative to Lego. And, like, I just loved it when I was little, but now it's just kind of, eh, you know. So, here's the back. You can see the kind of jet back and the tail. So, let's move into the next figure, because that was very simple. So, this is, um, Peter Quill, also known as Star-Lord. Um, so, he's super simplistic, actually, because all I did was, um, made a jacket for him, which there's no, really nothing on, and I just painted the torso with the, with, with his design on his t-shirt, and, like, so simple and I actually um this uh have this helmet for him his mask I guess and like yeah here's just a 360 view 
this this um the mask probably um spent like more time than the actual figure so yeah let's move on to the next figure so the next figure is actually dr strange himself and you can see he i this is actually lego wasn't actually accurate with theirs so i had to take it upon myself to make the torso more accurate than lego and actually this is i did it a better at least in my opinion a better job than lego did with accuracy because like i don't even know because it didn't even look anything like dr strange in my opinion so you can see he has the skirt and his belt i didn't do that much the back is actually um from the actual dr strange figure um and you can see these spell pieces are from the original but painted green so yeah actually yeah he was actually a really good figure i mean a really good character in the movie so yeah Let's move on to the next figure so this next figure is Falcon, and actually I really liked, um, like I really liked making this because just painting it all was fun overall. And yeah, you can see there's a bunch of design that I put into it. You can see the side, and here's the back. Which and oh my gosh, the backpack! Like I was like, oh, how am I gonna do this? Like. I thought it'd be really hard, but when I was done, it actually turned out really nice. Oh, and also there's this magnet here, because I was going to make Red Wing, I think, was his, like, robot thing, his name. But, yeah, um, this is also one of my favorite figures, so let's move on to the next figure. Okay, so this next figure is um, Black Panther, and I made this a long time ago also. Um... I, yeah, it just, I liked how it turned out before, but then I was like, eh, it's not one of my best figures, but it's still decent, because, yeah, you can see, like, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see this whole design. There's no back printing, because, you know, what I've been saying this whole time, I don't do back printing <laughs> that much anymore, so, yeah, it's Move on to the next figure. So this next figure is Black Widow. Um, I basically just used Lego's face and hair. And I used E-tape for the torso. And I painted it green. This is dark green and black. Uh, this color scheme. I don't know. But um, it's actually really nice. And I also curved the torso on this one. Which I hate doing because it takes so much time. Um, you can see the side and the back. back. Um, yeah. <sighs> Took so long. So, let's move on to the next figure. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Ah, huh? So this next figure is Mark Ruffalo. Um, I mean Bruce Banner. Um, and I actually, this was like. It took longer than I expected, but in the end, it actually turned out nice because the face was super hard because I based it off of um, Wavy Films and because he's great, you know, follow him, link in, link in description, but I based it off of his and it's just, it turned out really nice and because, wow, just speechless on how good of a customizer he is but yeah i kind of made the hair a little grayish because he's graying of course everyone ages but i used the original bruce banner figure from thor ragnarok and the infinity war sets so this is a pretty basic figure so let's move on to the next one Okay, so this is the last figure, um, and this actually took, like, a, quite a lot of time for, to make, like, a long time ago. And this is probably also one of my best figures, because it just turned out really nice, um, 
yeah not much to say about this i use e-tape for the whole torso and the sleeves because he has short sleeves now and the hair i sculpted um i could have used like one of those hairs like uh dr strange has where's he right here um but he has like one of those hairs but i could have used that in brown but i just didn't decide to do that because i just didn't like the look of it so i ended up using this one and as you can see there is um e-tape boots and a lot of people say that um the beard looks like i smashed like chocolate cake all over his face so yeah i guess i guess that's oh also, this part, that was actually from my original one, I'm pretty sure, uh, where I was, like, really excited, because I used magnets for the first time, but, yeah, I actually love how this figure turned out. Side, oh, this is inspired by Tumas Customs, um, he's actually, like, one of my favorite people in the customizing community, so, yeah, this ras wraps up our showcase. Okay, so this wraps up our showcase, and this is about everything in the showcase, um, that was featured in the showcase, so, yeah, and also Vision and Wong, as you can see, but I am probably not, like, I'm probably not gonna be doing Mantis, because just, uh, she wasn't that important of a character, but, so, if I do make her, uh, I'll post her on my Instagram, Link in bio and special thanks to Wavy Films and Lego because they inspired most of these figures. So, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. It's been a while if since my last video. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.